what's going on guys today i'll be showing you of how to make the simple fence uh this type of fence i actually saw mostly in the superstore maybe they have fence outside i mean outdoor okay they have this metal over here a glass view and at the bottom here is actually this called concrete okay so i'm going to show you how to make this simple stuff okay and of course you can go array array in there uh, whatever okay so let's begin um i'm gonna press ctrl n to bring up a new file general there we go don't save because i don't need it here we go with the glory of the default cube and the light and the camera okay so i'm gonna hide this all first uh, but i know i don't need the camera i just need the light because i'm gonna use that later now the camera actually the reason i'm deleting the camera because i maybe gonna make my my model big and sometimes the camera maybe cause trouble so you need to delete the camera and actually it's up to you okay so for the cube this is actually the base that's one if you want a mirror then use the mirror okay that's that's uh that's it's way more advanced and it's way better okay but I'm not going to use the mirror today. I'm just going to go here, there, scale, 3x, and there, there, that will do. Is it way too big? Yes, it's too big. I'm going to scale, that's one, scale that to the x. I'm going to make this thing wide, scale that to the y. All right. So this is going to be the, uh, what do you call that? The base. The concrete okay now let's add the mirror shift a add wait we're not gonna add the mirror we're gonna add the cylinder okay so i'm gonna use this one oh that's one wrap that over there all right so i'm gonna rotate y 90 degree let me press three okay we got something over there and obviously we don't need this one so at the bottom or you can delete whatever wherever okay but it's if it it's way easy if you just delete at the bottom okay or you can just not delete it's up to you the easiest way just go here delete the vertices control x or just control x yeah control x and you got that straight line over there i mean straight face that's what you're gonna need and one thing we don't need is the face and this one we don't need or uh, we don't need those okay so i'm going to delete for space i'm going to go to here uh, press e press to the z yes all right not don't no need to go too much let's go something over here would you okay now let's delete this one and this one we don't need those uh delete edges here we go ah that's all we need <laughs> is it hard well that depends on what kind of level you are okay so we're gonna go to here the scale let me see there okay scale that to x all right doesn't have to be the same as this one completely up to you all right now let's make the the what do you call it? the glass so how to make the glass usually adding a plane but we already have we already got the help from this cube here i mean the cylinder we're just gonna go to edit mode press 3 select the face that we flattened before flattened before yes Shift D to duplicate, scale that to the Y. Okay, that's something like that. Bring it down a little bit. Don't worry, don't no need to think much about this, okay? So I'm gonna press three. It's way better if you press go to it like this. Wrap that just a little bit. No need to go too much. Okay. No need to Think too much about this because this is a very way and low poly okay so now i'm gonna extrude that glass press e to extrude e to the z okay 
don't worry about the uh, over there something like what you do and the cube let's increase it a little bit okay let's dx all right now what i what i think i saw this is way too big but oh right right the glass is actually the glass from the the place that i saw it is big like this okay so yeah i don't need to think much about this let me scale that to the i mean i think i overdo about this i'm gonna rage okay go there now we got that over there and we don't know glass we don't know bar no we're not done over we need the cap for the bar okay so the best way to use uh, to make the uh, the cap just uh oh maybe over here oh. wait a minute this is it ah okay i should separate it okay make sure you know edit mode select all this one only not that one press m not m p p p actually and separate them by loose spot or selection as well not the material this is the color okay this one will do and i should be able to move this thing around without adding, having this one moving around as well okay so we got something like that scale this a little bit scale that to the x just a little bit Get the dx just a little bit all right that will do now let's make the cap here to make the cap i actually just use shift d to add a uv sphere okay grab that over there all right now let's delete half of this okay i'm gonna go to this one now press b oh that's too much oh my god all right again press b see all right we have selected um, all half now that's not half i'm gonna hold alt oh no hold controller and all right that would do delete those face there very cool right now emergency if maybe they are images or maybe they are doubles very very just to merge them together okay okay so we don't have any doubles so that's good and we can move this one let me turn this off okay um i think i'm gonna turn the cavity and the back and the color i'm gonna set this to random so it should be very easy for me to look at it okay press one okay rotate x not x y 90 degree in uh, negative 90 degree oh all right yes it's 90 degree all right so grab them over there okay scale grab scale make sure they are close one over there okay delete this close oh this one now all right we don't have i need to worry about there but what I, but, but what I know, we need to solidify. So let's add some solidify. There we go. Increase the thickness until it got, until it got this thing, I mean, something covered. Yes, covered. All right. That's very cool. Shift A or not Shift A. Apply the solidify. Okay, press A m and by distance who know you might have doubles okay okay that's very good now let's mirror this over here okay go to here add modifier mirror okay this one set the origin to the geometry so this thing is in the middle so it's easy for you to mirror okay but here i mean this one mirror object select the pen tool over there and select this one right the reason why it didn't mirror over there you need to change the axis okay so go to here the uh why i said like that because we we actually uh we rotate this this the uh, this steel that we made okay so that's why so if you want you need to apply the the axis okay the location 
shift F, you can just add shift, or you can just over there, maybe shift A, shift A, no, not shift A, ah, whatever. Okay, <laughs> select this one, cylinder, yes, it's cylinder. Now, press it to Z, let's see if it works. Yes, it works very good. Okay, turn this X off, because we don't need that, we only need one. Look at that, there's a good, there's a good guys. How it goes? Very cool, right? Simple. But one thing we're missing is the below here. Uh, the metal that this metal actually holds the mirror from the bottom. Not the metal, the concrete. Okay. <laughs> shift A, not Shift A. Edit mode, press tab. Make sure in edit mode. Shift R to add the loop cut. Let's go over there. There we go. It's, it's already in the middle. All you have to do is press Ctrl B. Control B. Okay, doesn't have to be that big. Doesn't have that. I mean, whatever. Here we go. That's all we need. Go to here and press T and extrude. Press E to extrude. E to Z. All right. Now let's see if we have doubles. Okay, we don't have doubles, but I believe we have doubles. Mm, yeah, we don't have double. Okay, that's good. Let's see. This one. Okay. EM by this thing. Alright, that's no problem. Even if there's problem and my eyes have something wrong with it. Alright, so let's uh, shade smooth this thing. This one, shade smooth. And this one, shade smooth. Okay, and don't forget. Uh, actually, this one doesn't need to. I mean, the all the smooth stuff because this one, like what I'm talking about, is go to here. The normal here don't need uh, all the smooth because it's already smooth, it doesn't have the face or anything. Okay, but the one thing that needed this one is this one. Okay, you can see that there's a weird stuff weird around there. So, to fix that, go to here to the normal, press to the normal, and enable all the smooth. Okay. Tweak him. Who knows what? Who knows what we are going to find? Okay. So there it is, guys. It's all done. What more than how many minutes? <laughs> all right. Let's go to shading. Got to paint this baby up. For the concrete, I'm gonna just stick to the dark, maybe dark there. And specular, I'm gonna reduce. And the surface, I don't want it to be like this. So I'm gonna increase it to one because it's concrete, even if it's reflective, but I don't want it reflective. It's completely up to you how you make it, okay? So this one, ah, one thing. Uh, I think this one is way too small. So I'm gonna go to this, 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 this. Or you can just press this, press this. Misty if works. Oh you know what? No, never mind. If it's a low poly, you don't have to worry much about what I'm doing. It's, it's just a low poly. Okay. All right. We have colored the, what do you call this? Uh, concrete. Yes, yes. And this one, the mirror, not yet. And this, let's go to this one, the metal post. Press new. Color. What color the metal? Something over there. And right. It doesn't look like a metal. This, like a, this looks like a plastic, so. Increase the metal, okay? Do something like that, but not too much roughness. Decrease the specular if you want, or increase the specular for more shine. Along with this, I think this was too black. All right. And this one, I'm gonna just use this one to this one. Let's go to this whatever round there, bronze material ring, and select this one, the material one. Uh, this one material okay so now we get that over there okay last one we can make the glass so for the glass it's actually very easy you can use the glass or whatever or you can just reduce the alpha it 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 still looks like glass but actually it's a it's a it's, a, it's going to fade okay going to disappear I mean. so i'm not going to use the principal bsdf Lit. What I'm gonna use is a glass shader. There we go, glass shader. 
surface to the BSDF to the surface, okay? And should go something like that, right? So this thing doesn't work in material or even in EV. If there, if it works on EV, then do comments below. I really want to know about it. Okay, so now it works well in a in a cycle, okay? In a cycle, and this one change this device to a GPU. Okay, the reason why I changed this to GPU because it's way faster. So maybe sometimes crash your PC, so it's better to save your work. <laughs> All right, let's turn on the light. Yeah, look at that. Oh, this light grab that to red. The Y grab that to the X, and then I'm gonna increase the power. Maybe I think the power is good for the glass. I think it's way too white. So I'm gonna up the roughness a little bit, not too much. Still visible, but not too much. All right, that will do. And maybe I want to change the color from white to something bluish. Yes, there we go. There we go. Go to layout mode now. Go to this. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Duplicate to the Y. Shift D. Duplicate to the Y. I need two. All right. There we go, guys. There you go. That's. Oh, I can change this one now. Things still way to go. There we go, guys. That's how to model a. What do you call it? a fence with a glass on it? I don't know what it's called, but yeah, a fence metal iron bar. <laughs> No, I don't know what it's called. I'm just gonna call it a uh, uh, glass fence. Okay, so that's how to model it. Very easy and simple. There are not that there are lots of way. Okay, lots of other way. Maybe some that is easier than what I made. And yeah, try to surf and have some fun. Oh, to get rid of the fireflies, increase the uh, the sample count. Okay, I mean this one. Where is it? This one increase the render the sampling or you can just turn on the denoising okay over here where is it ah this one turn on the denoising there okay so it should be uh reduce the noise a little bit but not too much fireflies are very hard to uh, to handle especially when it comes to using a glass okay so that's all for today thanks for watching this long tutorial, maybe short, maybe, I don't know. I'll see you next time. Okay now, bye.